So if you spend enough time in downtown Birmingham with someone from the area, you're eventually gonna have a conversation like this. Hey, you see that thing on top of the Thomas Jefferson Tower? What do you think that is? I don't know, a radio tower or something? It's a dirigible docking tower. It was used back in the day to park Zeppelins in downtown. Huh, but here's something those people won't tell you because most of them don't know. It's fake and it always has been. So let's rewrite some Birmingham history. Now before the people outside of Alabama get too excited and start going ha ha look at Birmingham always trying to pretend it has things a real city has, you should know that almost all of them are fake. Every single dirigible docking tower in the middle of a major city in the US didn't work and most of the time they knew that. This one in Chicago? Fake. The one on top of the Empire State Building never worked. These pictures were doctored to make it look like it did. They never worked! So what's up with these fake dirigible docking towers? See back in the early 1900s, the idea of dirigibles floating through the sky and traveling around the world capture the imaginations of people in the US. Keep in mind this is before we figured out how to get a plane across the Atlantic. These little airships could scoot their way from Europe to America no problem. So people loved them and some property developers honed in on the craze by installing dirigible docking stations on the tops of buildings in major cities. But to dock an airship you have to secure it by at least two points, the front and the back. That's because dirigibles are like 800 foot long floating sails, so if you only tie it at one end and a stiff breeze comes along, it's gonna whip around like crazy. To actually dock a dirigible required ground crews of hundreds of men to pin it to the ground, but these dirigible docks at the tops of buildings in big cities only had one point to tie off to. So even if you tried to use one, which they really didn't, if you're lucky a stiff breeze would come along and the airship would just rip the mast right off your building. But if you're unlucky and the mast didn't come off, congratulations. You now have a building sized wrecking ball swinging wildly around the top of your building in the middle of a major city. That ought to make you popular with the neighbors. But if the building owners knew these docking stations didn't work, why did they bother putting them on top of their buildings? Well, in the case of the Empire State Building, it was to get over the limit to become the tallest building in the world. But according to airship historian Dan Grossman, for buildings like the Thomas Jefferson Tower in Birmingham and in other major cities, it was just a publicity stunt. Just pop a mast on your roof that you know does nothing, and people would think you had a cool futuristic building and cha-ching. In the case of the one on top of the Thomas Jefferson Tower, it's just there to trick the rubes in early Birmingham that their city was a groovy future city that would be a big part of the booming airship business that never actually materialized. So that's how this thing became a staple of the Birmingham skyline. I also suspect that thing on top of Red Mountain isn't the real Greek god Vulcan, and someday I'm gonna prove it. I'm Jonathan Soboleski for Reckon. If you like these videos and like what we're doing on Reckon, you can help us out by following us on Reckon by AL.com on Facebook and Twitter. And for even more news, you can sign up for our newsletter at AL.com slash Reckon. Thanks for watching.